Hi, I'm Simon Hawkins. And I'm Zeke Hawkins, and we're here with Actors Reporter and Kurt Kelly from Live Video Inc. And we're the directors from We Gotta Get Out of This Place showing at the AFI Film Fest. Kurt Kelly from Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. at the AFI Sony Party with the Hawkins Brothers, correct? Hi. That's so us. where are you guys from? Originally we're from Connecticut, uh, from a suburb like New York City, but we live in LA now. So how long have you been making films? 10, 15 years or so? I so think probably since Simon was in high school, he's a couple years younger than me, and then we came out to LA for me to go to AFI, so that was like seven years ago. Really? So you're part of the alumni? Yeah. Are you following in the footsteps? I went to NYU for undergrad. You're forgiven. So I have not I've not quite stepped into the AFI grounds, but I associate ah, with a good. lot of AFI That's people. That's nice. So what do you think of Sony's technology with the cameras, the 4Ks? Looks good. Yeah, it's beautiful. I don't don't have a lot to say. Have you shot on 4K some yet? Stuff. No. I wanted to get a, our movie, uh, the DCP, done in 4K, but then we didn't do it. We did it in 2K. So it feels like hopefully uh, everything's going to do in 4K. So you got half the picture. We got half the K. Dang. But we're looking to upgrade to 4K as soon as we possibly can. Well, and it's interesting because I interviewed the uh, president of Sony for North America, mm -hmm. and he let me in on a little secret. They're coming out with a pro consumer version or a or a one that is a consumer model that has the quality of a 4K. Sounds fantastic. So it'll probably be about eighty thousand to hundred thousand cheaper. Yeah. So maybe you could shoot with it. Yeah, now. then we'll we'll make and our we'll make our jump. Up. That'll be our official jump from two exactly, to four K. Exactly. Exactly. So what projects are you two working on? We Ooh. directed a movie called We Got to Get Out of This Place, which is actually premiering tonight is at the AFI Film right Festival. Yeah, we're we're going gonna, pretty okay, soon. See ya. No. And what's the movie about? It's uh, three teenagers in South Texas. They want to get out of town, but one of them steals some money and they get mixed up with a local crime syndicate. It's a crime thriller, everything goes wrong. It's fun. So you did it together? Yeah, we directed it together. Yeah. So you're co-directors. Brothers, co-directors. Brothers, Co-conspirators, yep. co-editors, co-producers. Not well, have Brian and Justin, who are also hosting this party with Rough and Tumble, they're the producers. Okay. So you guys have selected for some awards, correct? Pardon? You guys are selected for some awards as a result of your work? We, we premiered at Toronto, and then we were down at Fantastic Fest in Austin, and I don't no major awards right now, no. But like, oh, you didn't get the memo yet? No, I didn't get any memos. <laughs> okay, don't tell them yet. They're <laughs> about to get some major awards. So, uh, is this your first production together? Yeah, it's our first feature film. We've done lots of shorts and music videos together, but this is our first feature film. So we've worked together for like you know for a long time. But so, what's the next step from here? Are you going to continue to co-direct, co-work? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Jim Mitchell trying to put together. together another feature. And uh, yeah, what's that going to be about? I don't know. We we've got we've like five different projects thing. that we're sort of pushing and we're waiting for to get our whole team together and see what is going to work. Now, do you write your own projects? We write outlines, but we don't. But we usually bring on a writer for the screenplay. Okay, fabulous. So what advice do you have people following in your footsteps who aspire to be where you are now? Advice? I had a teacher at, at AFI yes. who said the first rule of directing is shut the F up. And I think that's really good advice. I think you meant funk. Shut the funk up. And, yes, and, exactly. And I think what that means is just your first job is to listen and to let everything speak to you and not to tell everybody what to do. And I think that's good advice for all directors at all times. You know, I, having done this for a long time now, I think that's great advice, actually. I always think, that every day I think about that. Because I remember when I was 10 first doing this, I knew everything. Yeah. You didn't even have to ask me, I would tell you. But as time progressed, I realized I need to still keep learning. You let everything else speak to you. The people, the locations, let it all speak to you. That's, the best, that's where the best ideas come That's why I stay silent on the side. That's where my quiet solitude comes from. Yeah, but we can hear what's going on inside your head. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So with the emergence of the technology moving as fast as it is now, where do you see us in five years? I mean, you just really see, I guess, in the past 10 years, like more films being done on that like really low micro budget indie level. And so I feel like that's just gonna continue to even, but where films look even more polished and more, I don't know, like look more professional on that level, hopefully. Um, but I also think like the technology, the technology is very exciting, but the art has to dictate the choices and the technology can't dictate the choices that you make artistically. And I think that's the, you can't let the technology say, this is what we're gonna do. And I think that's the balance and sort of the dance that goes back and forth with a filmmaking community and the technology community. Your thoughts on piracy? Aside from ships with 
rebels on them? I think that it is very, very hard to make a living financially in the filmmaking community, especially in the independent filmmaking community. And I think when people expect things for free or don't want to pay filmmakers who are working for years as hard as they can on something, it's disrespectful to, 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 to steal things and to not compensate people for all the hard work they do. Well, in other lines of work, people actually go to jail when they steal. Um, that doesn't necessarily happen when they steal from us. Yeah. But nobody's doing free car tune-ups these days anymore either. At least I haven't found it. Yeah. If you find them, could you let me know where? Yeah. A free lunch. Yeah, but everyone wants music for free or filmmaking for free and writing for free. And right. that's really hard. So stop stealing. Um, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Much and best of luck. Good to meet you. And I expect to be at the next red carpet. Awesome. I'll be back with more from AFI for Kelly for Live Video and Connections Reporting.